Hey, my YouTube family and friends. Getting ready for my walk, but let me just talk with you for a minute. Today is Tuesday. Brings back memories. But the important thing is that I'm trying to focus on the positives so I can get through this little bump in the road. Most of us are out there with worst to deal with and we have to get up each day and face it and deal with it. One of the things I have to work on is to figure out when I wake up at 12.30 at night or so 1 o'clock in the mornings, um, how to really probably not focus on things because there are so many things that run through my head of how things could have been different, how things could have been handled differently. Um, I worry about um, Monday I was supposed to be back at work, which was yesterday, um, but Friday I had an appointment with my doctor and after they spoke with me, they decided that I was not ready to face my classroom as yet because the kids are still there. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And so you cannot, It's if you're in a bad marriage and you're getting counseling and you have separated yourselves from the negatives and then you just jump up and go back into something that nobody has changed, then how will that work out? You go back into it and in, 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 in a day you back out because things have not changed. The kids' behaviors have not changed. They need support. They need a lot of support. I cannot do it by myself. Um... I also worry about um, if I should have to reprimand the children, if it's going to be deemed as picking on them because of what had happened. So it's a lot that I have to deal with and um, I don't really want anybody to think I'm weak. I have been a strong black woman for years and years. As I said, I've raised my children as a single mother, I have worked hard, I've gone to school, and I've done all the things that I needed to do. I, I am married, so I know what love is and know how to give love and 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 things like that. So I'm, I'm normal. Um, it's just that in life when things happen and um, how it happens, and it's not even that, it's about how it was handled because I'm used to all my years of teaching knowing that people, adults in positions, when things are going on, they support teachers, they call out wrongdoings, just like they are quick to question the kids, you know, like, you know, what you think of her, and they talk about how, oh, she's mean, she's this, she's that, and nobody really comes back to say to you, Let's talk. Let's talk. This kid says so and so. Let's sit together and have a conversation. Because we know, even as parents, if we are tough with your kids, that they, they tend to like the parent who is softer and quieter, the parent who will let them get away with things. But once you are standing up and you're saying, no, I expect better from you, no, I'm not going to tolerate that, then all of a sudden you become, you become that bad person. So I'm just saying to us out there, guys, whatever positions you hold, that children will will lie, especially if it is to get themselves out of trouble. I don't care how much church we bring them to. I don't care how much. If you if if they're in a situation where conversations are not had, had and they know if they did something wrong, they're going to be punished, then we need to understand that they will lie to get themselves out of trouble. So we should not just take the kids' words. Let them know that if they tell you something, that you will check it out to see 
if it's true or not. Don't let them be happy to run to you. Well, guess what mommy did? Or guess what daddy did? I saw him doing. And you and not even understanding uh, the history of whatever took place. That you're only hearing one side of a story. And you're using that to judge the other parties. Let us remember, guys, that we're all human beings. And life happens. So I'm still going through the struggles. Most of it is waking up in the nights if I wake up you know I just can't go back to sleep because I'm I'm just thinking and rethinking too much and um, because nothing has changed I am concerned about how um, things could go forward um, you know it's not it's just it how will things go forward the the all of the the the, the pieces are still in place all the people are still in place and so how will things change um, so that everybody can move forward in a, in a, in a decent and a positive way a positive way you know hold kids accountable just like you're ready to look down on teachers and treat them badly hold kids accountable because it's the lack of accountability why we have so much stresses, why we have so many kids dropping out of school, why we have so much disrespect and lack of motivation, why we have so many kids failing. It's not that they don't have a brain and can do well, but if they are allowed to make excuses and make more excuses and parents are on their children's side, they're not pushing them to do well. They're not expecting anything from them. And then they come into school and the people in charge are just making sure they're on the parent's side. And then the kids control and the kids control and everything is falling apart. Not only here in America, but in Jamaica and in other places too, where children are allowed to be in charge countries where children are held accountable you see them progressing you see them prospering you see that the children are graduating and they are holding good jobs and so we have to stop and think and we have to look back in our homes ourselves and to make sure that have to make sure that um we are not we're we're doing the tough love so that um, our kids can grow up with backbones. So I'm just saying, guys, um, if you haven't been in, the, in the, somebody's shoe, you cannot understand it. The important thing before we pass judgment, let us be in that shoe and see how far we can walk ourselves. So let's again hold them accountable. And as for me, I am trying hard. Um, I started writing on Sunday. So that should kind of, when I'm up, I'll just start adding some more to my, to my work. And just hope that that will be part of the healing process. Um, and so that we can move forward. So a friend of mine this morning sent me this thought and I really um, read it and reread it. I just wanted to share it with you guys that whenever we find ourselves doubting how far we can go, we should just take a moment to remember how far we have come. Remember everything we have faced, all the battles we have won, and all the fears we have overcome. So we have to use that to keep on encouraging ourselves so that we can move forward. And then the next thing that was sent to me was, this was yesterday, trust God, even though the circumstances have not changed yet, trust his timing at all times. So I'm using those thoughts to just guide me and to just help to propel me forward and whatever the outcome know that I know God is in the midst as I said things could have been different 
not sure the reason why this happened and the way it happened and how it happened um, but I just wanted to have answers to things I don't want to be I'm not like angry where I am my heart is palpitating at the first when I went to the doctor the first time that Thursday that Friday morning yeah my blood pressure went up <laughs> and um, and for days it's just when I talk about the situation I would cry and um, I think it was mostly not the fear of the threat the kid made but how things were handled I keep saying but again let us not even say anything let's just know it could have been different and it could have been worse we don't know why it happened this way and why it is that I have to be home but I'm going outside now it's a little colder now it's a little windy but I'm going to be walking it is about 3 30 it's about 3 30 now so I'm just going to be walking back and forth for a moment and as I walk I'll be singing today just so I'm using those things for healing processes um, that those are things I'm used to uh, so I cannot stop doing them so I'll just be playing my music and just sing along as I do my walking um, out here it's calm today very calm but I'll use this time to just say thanks to all of you who have been supporting thanks to all of you who have um, subscribed to the channel and sharing the videos those of you who are just watching 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 trending live TV thank you so much for your support um, guys if you haven't subscribed to her channel please go over and subscribe to her we also have little J plays those of you are into the gaming thing please go over there and support her and even if you're not into the gaming thing I <laughs> and my kids were, were growing up yeah they had the Xbox they had the Nintendo they had the Sega Genesis they had um, all of those games and the handheld games and um, we used to play together I did Mario and jump through those things and got my coins and all of that um, even got to the point to save the princess so I did well with Mario we had Bubble Bubble we had so many so many games so many many games I would sit with them and play with them and as it got a little harder and more complicated and the Xbox came around um, I didn't bother to sit and play them anymore um, so if you're into the gaming thing you go over there to little J little J plays she does the video games and um, even if you don't play them just support her just subscribe and support her as she continues on her journey we also must remember Bev Brown Bev Brown is down there in Jamaica because of the way she cared for those who were in need it so happened that um the birds are here with me Those yeah, are the little yeah. birds. The cheer them have to come down though. Who oh, ranking? Um, yeah. So then is this the little birds came down. I have to put some food out for them. It's cold in the back. But um yes, we said Bev Brown who you know because of, of, of what I saw her doing down there in Jamaica, we reached out and we got support. And we're able to give her a decent kitchen to cook in. Now you see that she's able to wash her, her, her vegetables and, and, and just got everything done right there in the kitchen. Because now she has water inside and she's still cooking and caring for those who are in need. We continue to support her. She's growing. She's growing. 
she's at 700 and something subscribers she has come a long long way please continue to support her guys um if you have not yet just press the subscribe button um so she can get to her 1000 and above subscribers um and and those who are out there um the j jordan he does a lot of exercise this and i showed you how he was the one who showed us how to do the clapping in front stretch your hands out and clap 40 times in the front and 40 times above your head to help tone up the arms um are you going to see the difference as i said i haven't bought any coats this year and my coats are fitting just right so just support 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 please support how you can and you know each one helps one because one never knows we never know sister darky up there in new markets in saint elizabeth i'm not new market i think you go to new market to get stuff but up there in the hills of beautiful saint elizabeth you know guys just lift them up in prayer um i have to say thanks to them she's she she sends her voice note with Beth brown to give to me and always lifting me up in prayer and and i so totally appreciate it so guys again we don't have to be able to give monies but just to support one another in whatever way we can it goes a long way so let us not refrain from doing doing the little whatever we can do where we are um i know a lot of you watch the videos but you're selective of the ones that you you leave a message on that you leave a comment on but i know in my heart that you're watching and i so absolutely appreciate all of you so again a special thank you to trending trending her mom passed away um condolences to her and her family and after mom passed away from her illness she has been just binge watching the videos <laughs> she has been just going back months and months and just watching and liking the videos and for that i am grateful to god for every kindness that you guys extend to me every word of love and encouragement every little heart <laughs> a purple heart or a lavender heart a yellow heart a red heart all of them i say thank you for your love and your support all right so jet feel better where you are miss ernestine my sister my friend take good care of yourself miss ruby i know you're back in jamaica enjoy your extended honeymoon and for everyone else ag whoa um yeah it's windy out here AG and everyone just take good care of yourselves my sister my my children all of you wherever you are Shadina you're in a new place now um, I hope that it's better for you all of you um, Michael thank you so much um, for your support your kind words and everyone who has been nothing but encouraging Latoya, thank you. I see the I see the words of encouragement. My sister Carlene, thank you, thank you, thank you, Erin, thank you. Again, Bev Brown, <laughs> I can never give up on you, girl. Thank you, um, Zoe from the UK. Um, lady k from the uk thank you all for your love i haven't seen randolph in a long time i hope he's okay in the uk um kurt boss over there in the philippines touring doing your traveling i wish you well stay safe uh we talk about okay so I know I'm forgetting people, but please understand that I can't remember all the names right now. But all of you who have been consistently watching the videos, commenting on the videos, I don't remember all your names now. 
but just know that I love and I appreciate all of you. And again, to all the new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to Miss Beth's production. Um, soon I'll be up and be able to just do my videos on a daily basis again. I used to drop a video every day. Um, and I need to be able to just get back to that as I continue to deal with this little situation here. Um, for some, it's little. I have to call it little. Because if I look at it as small, I'll be able to jump over it. Um, but it's not a small thing. Um, when you have to get up and you in a situation that you have to face the same challenges every day, it does wear you down. We know that teachers all over the world are flying. They're running away from classrooms because of the disrespect and the lack of support. They're just running because nothing is being done and the kids just become more and more powerful. The people are running. This is what I've done for over 27 years. This is what I enjoy doing. This is what I like to do. And so it is just tough that I'm not able to be there doing what I have done for so long successfully. But as I said, you know what? One never knows. And I just have to accept it as it comes and move forward. All right? Accept it and hope for the best. So have a great evening, everybody. I'm going to start my walking. And as I said... <laughs> and I'm outside and I am oh have a bird flying up there I'm outside so I'm just gonna walk around for a minute and go back inside stay blessed love to all of you thank you